Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Are Your Parents Related tool on GEDmatch. Now before you go, ew, Vanessa, like no, my parents aren't related, just hold on and watch the video because it actually may be really useful to you. Um, this is a really important tool in genealogy and I will tell you why. Before we get started though, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because it really helps out my channel when you do. Okay. So, why is it important? Well, if your parents are related, and they don't have to be closely related, so, you know, they might be sort of, you know, fourth cousins or sixth cousins or something like that. They can be more distantly related. And maybe they don't even know that. Um, so, a relationship like that can still affect your genealogy. So, let's say that you've done a test, say you've tested with Ancestry DNA, and you're looking through all of your DNA matches, and you're assigning them to maternal and paternal lines. If you have related parents, there are going to be matches that are going to match you on both lines, so that can actually be really confusing with sorting your matches. Also, it can be really useful if you're like adopted or if you don't know who your um, one of your birth parents are or something like that. So um, yeah, this is actually a really useful tool. So first thing I'll do is take you over to GEDmatch and just show you how to use it. And then I'll just talk about it afterwards. Okay, so we just get to the uh, homepage for GEDmatch. If you don't already have um, an account, you'll have to sign up. It's free, so just, yeah, at least for the most basic tools. So just sign yourself up and, you know, upload your DNA if you haven't already. Um, and once you've got your DNA there, you can see the Are Your Parents Related little um, link to click on the right hand side. Then you will be able to enter the kit number. So kit number of child that is just, you know, I'm just going to put in my kit number there and that will open up the results. So are your parents related? It'll say, you know, it'll just tell you the threshold size that it is testing and it'll show you obviously the red is the pairs with the no match. So what we're actually looking for are big blue segments. So as you can see in mine, there's no shared DNA segments found between my parents. So this analysis indicates that your parents are probably not related within recent generations. So yeah, if you had big blue segments, that would suggest some kind of relationship between your parents. Okay, so having related parents is actually more common in some populations than others. For example, if you come from a particular kind of religious group or... Um, uh, ethnic group that tends to marry sort of only its own, you'll end up having more of these kind of cases because it's a more sort of confined population. So you might end up with distant cousins marrying each other or even close cousins. Um, so yeah, certain populations it's definitely worth testing. Um, also obviously worth testing if you don't know your parents or if you don't know one of your parents. Um, but also, I think it's just worth testing for everybody because there are a lot of people that maybe just don't know and, you know, distant cousins don't always know that they're distant cousins. <laughs> so aside from the importance when you're going through your DNA matches, it's also important when you're building your family tree because if you know that you've got um, uh, related parents in some way, you'll know that at some point your tree is going to sort of come back together, like loop around. So when you're building your tree, you'll be aware of that and you'll be able to be, you know, on the ball rather than being confused as to <laughs> who these people are. Okay, so if your parents are related, don't freak out. Like a lot of people actually do get this come up in their tree. Um, you'll, you're fine. And <laughs> it's not also not something that you're really going to pass on to your children or anything like that. So don't like fret about it. Um, the most important thing is to just keep it in mind for when you're doing your genealogy. Now, if you do find that you have some sort of related parents, but you're not really sure how, um, there's a couple of ways that you can work on figuring it out. So obviously there's the good old fashioned research in your family tree and you'll hopefully figure it out that way. But you could also turn to DNA Painter. So, you know, when you're going through all of your matches, you could use DNA Painter to try to figure out where the common segments are. And then when you figure that out, you might be able to assign it to a particular couple. So if you've never used DNA Painter before, I will link my video above so you can check it out it's um 
Some people think that it's a really complicated website, but it really isn't, and hopefully my tutorial will make it easier, so check that one out. Um, I think that's about all I've got to say for this one, so go on, don't be afraid, dive in and check out if your parents are related. <laughs> um, and it will hopefully help you in your genealogy research. I will do some more videos coming up soon where I talk about some more of the features on GEDmatch. But uh, for now that is all. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.